Hello there, fellow scientist friends, and welcome to another edition of Photoshop for the Scientist. And we are at basic lesson number three, I think, right now. And uh, this is going to be a pretty quick one today, but this is something that I realized I was kind of taking for granted as I was going along here, and that is uh, getting around your document. So I'm talking about zoom in and pan in and getting to all of the different places in your document as quickly and efficiently as possible. Uh, so let's uh, get into it, I guess. Um, okay, so the first thing that I want to show you is uh, when I was first learning Photoshop uh, I had no idea what I was doing and the only way I knew how to get around my document was with the uh, navigator window here which if you don't see uh, you can go up to window into uh, choose navigator there but open it back up and the only thing I knew how to do was to get the zoom slider here and zoom it in like that and then click and drag um, this little red box around to get to where I want to go in my document and well this technically works. Um, it's certainly not the most efficient way to do things, um, but you're more than welcome to use that if you like. I used it for years. Uh, but we're going to cover some other things today. Uh, so first of all, I'll show you how to get back, or rather I'll tell you how to get back to uh, seeing your full document on screen. And so the best way to do this is to use the keyboard shortcut uh, Control Zero. And what that does is, as you can see, brings your entire document back to fit on your screen. Um, sort of complementary to that shortcut, if you hit Control alt 0 that brings it to 100%, and so it zooms you in yeah, to 100%. But in this case, that's not super helpful, so I'm going to hit Control 0 again to go back to full screen. So that's sort of the first keyboard shortcut. And I should say we're going to be covering a lot of shortcuts today, but a lot of them are redundant, so you can sort of pick and choose which ones you like the best. So the first sort of zoom in and zoom out shortcut that uh, is probably the easiest one to remember is simply uh, control plus to zoom in and control minus to zoom out uh, which is a pretty good one um, it's pretty easy to remember um, but I don't usually use that one myself typically what I find uh, is the fastest for me is if you hold alt and then use your scroll wheel uh, you can scroll in and sort of it zooms in to wherever your uh, cursor is hovering. So I find this is actually the one I use the most um, simply because usually my left, my left hand is over around the control and alt keys on the keyboard and then my right hand is usually always on the mouse so don't really have to move anywhere. Uh, the one thing that you have to keep in mind though is that at least for me when I hit the alt key it engages my file menu so sometimes that can screw things up if you try to hit a shortcut like I don't know, the move tool. Um, instead of going to move, it brings up the view menu, uh, which is kind of annoying sometimes. So to disengage that, so say we've zoomed in and out a bit, uh, you just have to hit alt again. Uh, not the end of the world if you don't, but it's one of those things. It can be a little frustrating sometimes. So that is another method. A uh, third method, um, which you may also find useful, um, and it's also a, a two-handed technique, is to hit uh, control spacebar, so holding control and spacebar with my left hand and then clicking uh, with my right hand here. Um, to zoom out, you simply now push the alt key, so you're pressing now control alt spacebar and you zoom out. So that's another pretty easy one uh, if your hands are, your left hand, your left hand is on the keyboard and your right hand is on the mouse. And just for the sake of it, uh, I will show you the zoom and pan tools over here, although I very rarely actually use these tools specifically. Uh, when I do use the zoom tool, I'll hit Z, uh, which is the shortcut key, and you can just click and drag over what you want to look at, just like that. So it does give you kind of a bit more, um, it's a bit more precise about where you're going to be zooming in. And if we take a quick look at uh, our options up along here, uh, resize windows to fit, that's if your window is undocked here. Um, it's going to resize your window, make it as large as possible, or alternatively if we uh, zoom out here, basically it's just going to shrink your window down. But for me, I always work with my window docked, so that doesn't really apply to me too much. Zoom all windows, uh, that's if you have multiple documents open. Sometimes if you have two copies of a document open or similar documents, uh, it's nice to have them zoom and pan the same way so you can keep oriented in both of them the same way. Uh, scrubby zoom, I usually check off because uh, I just find it kind of annoying personally. Um, 
it basically instead of drawing sort of this selection outline about where you're going to zoom in it kind of just does it automatically but uh, I don't know I mean maybe you'll like it I personally am not a huge fan uh, hundred percent does basically what control art control art <laughs> come on Steve what control alt zero does so that brings it to hundred percent fit screen is the same as your control zero and fill screen uh, just makes it so that obviously it fills the screen and that could be whatever size you want uh, whatever size works in your screen uh, lastly one other thing we can do here is you can simply go to this indicator of how much you're zoomed in right now it's 41.07 percent and you can just type in whatever you want so 50 for example 50 percent uh, 100 uh, percent sometimes I'll use this but usually not that often so I'm gonna go back to fitting my document to the screen here and to look at pans for, uh, pan in for a second now, uh, so if you look at the hand tool here, which you can get to by pushing the H key, um, right now we're not going to do anything because it, we're fit on the screen here, so there's really nowhere to pan. But say we zoom in to 100%, which I will again do by hitting Control alt, alt 0 uh, Now we can just click and drag uh, with the hand tool to where we want to go. But again, normally I don't use the hand tool, uh, so if I go back here to the Move tool, the faster way to do this is to just hold the spacebar. So as I'm holding the spacebar, you can move your document around, and then when you release the spacebar, you go back to the, whatever last tool you were using. So that just makes your workflow much quicker if you want to you know, move your images around or whatever, and then you want to move over here and move another one around. And then just to, again, reiterate, to do uh, Control-Alt spacebar, you can click and zoom out. So yeah, uh, that's a few shortcuts, actually quite a few shortcuts, and different methods for um, zooming and panning throughout your document. So pretty short one today, but these are good skills to pick up because it'll really speed up your workflow um, once you get a handle for things. So I think we'll wrap it up there for today. Just a short lesson, but an important one nonetheless. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will do my best to get to them. And I think that's all for now. So remember, you worked hard to get that data, and with just a little bit extra work, we can make sure together that it looks amazing. Okay, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.